you like filmmaking and you like horror movies, then today's your lucky day because my annual horror short film contest is back. I've held this contest for the last four years, making this year the fifth year that I'll be hosting this worldwide online filmmaking competition. In this video, I'm gonna quickly break down some of the rules, announce the prizes, show you guys the sponsors, and give you guys a little insight into the contest. But everything I'm going to say in this video will be in the video description below. There will be a download link to a PDF that has all the rules, prizes, sponsors, submission details, etc. This contest once started as a fun challenge for all of my followers and subscribers on YouTube. And it has over the years evolved into this massive worldwide online film competition with some insane prizes and sponsors. And every year I get more and more excited to host this contest for the community. In years past, I've given away cameras, cash, shooting time at my locations and everything in between. And this year is no different. We have a slew of amazing prizes from all of our sponsors for this short film contest. On screen right now are a list of the sponsors for this year's contest, as well as a bunch of the prizes. And as I mentioned, all of this stuff goes into detail and you can see everything listed out in that downloadable PDF in the video description. So every year with this contest, I introduce a set of rules that everyone must follow. It kind of puts everyone on the same playing field and allows us to creatively judge your film based on these set of rules. In years past, there's been rules where it has to be shot in one take or you have to use a certain line of dialogue. And this year, being that this contest is in its fifth year, I have five rules that everyone must follow for their film. Rule number one, your film has to be five minutes or less in total runtime. So from start to finish, of when your film opens to the last credit, your film cannot be longer than five minutes. Rule number two is that your film must be shot either handheld or with a tripod or both, but you cannot use extraneous pieces of gear like steady cam, gimbals, drones, dollies. We're getting back to basics this year, the basics of filmmaking, that run and gun, low budget filmmaking, everyone can operate a camera handheld or has a tripod at their disposal. This rule is to really set everyone on the same playing field so there's no excuses of like, oh, well, I didn't have a steady cam, so of course this film, you know, has higher production value. Rule number three, no CGI or VFX. This was a big one. On Instagram, I asked people, I wanted you guys to give input this year on what some of the rules should be, and a lot of people were asking for no CGI or VFX, and I listened. I think this is a great rule to kind of equalize everyone, put everyone on the same playing field. I want this again to get back to that like low budget indie horror filmmaking where you have to get creative and use practical effects. No visual compositing, CGI monsters and all of that jazz that can really elevate your film in that way. Get back to being creative on set with practical effects. How are you going to do things in camera or on set live? Rule number four is you have to involve a mask in some way. All of the classic horror films like Halloween, Scream, Friday the 13th, Strangers, etc. right? There's masks involved. And I'm not saying that your antagonist or your bad character, your evil person, whatever, needs to wear a mask. Just a mask needs to be involved in some way. So this is where you guys can get really creative with a lot of these rules is how are you going to implement a mask? Rule number five, and probably one of the most fun rules to date in this contest, is you have to select one of these five movie frames and pay homage to them and recreate one of them in some way in your film. These five frames are from some of my favorite horror films of all time. They're iconic, they're classic, and you guys have to find a way to creatively work one of these frames into your short film. Again, these frames, you can find them here in this video, but they will be included again in that PDF document along with all these other rules, prizes, etc. So again, do not forget to download that PDF. It has everything that you need in that PDF. And if you guys have any questions revolving any of these rules, if some of them feel like 
they're not so clear to you, uh, please feel free to comment below in the YouTube video or DM me on Instagram because I will gladly you know, try to clarify any of these for you if you feel like, oh, I don't know if this will get me disqualified or not or if this will uh, work for my film. Uh, please feel free to comment below as well as DM me, DM me on Instagram. I will answer that question for you so that you can be at ease when you're shooting your film knowing like, cool, I'm good. So those are all of the rules. And just to remind you guys again, this is a free online worldwide contest. Anyone from around the world can enter this contest for free. Last year, I took this contest to my online subscription platform, Onset Pass, and it really limited the amount of people that wanted to participate. So I just wanna kinda of open those floodgates and reopen this contest uh, and make it free and available to everyone worldwide. In the past, I've had people always ask, is this contest you know, for international people? And the answer is yes. We've had winners from all over the world from the past four years. So again, free online short film contest available to anyone around the world. As far as submitting your film goes, once it is done, the submission details, again, are in that document that is in the video description below. Please download that, I cannot stress that enough. But on screen here is how you're going to submit your film. You're going to upload it to YouTube with this title. This is how you're going to submit your film. Once you've uploaded it and you've titled your video as such, you're also going to email that YouTube link to this email on screen right now. And again, if there's any questions or you're you know, concerned about how to do this, in that downloadable PDF, all of this is laid out for you. And this year, we're doing something we've never done before. We are hosting an official red carpet screening night here at my new film studio in downtown Los Angeles, where we will be screening the top 10 films, awarding the top three films, and just having a fun Halloween party networking mixer for filmmakers. And even if you're not participating in this contest, you'll be able to attend that event. So again, just like everything I've said in this video, the link to get tickets to come to that event where we're gonna be screening the films and having this Halloween party networking mixer for filmmakers is in that downloadable PDF. So download that PDF and at the bottom there will be a ticket link to where you can get tickets to this event. So doing it bigger and better than ever for the fifth year. I appreciate everyone who's taken part in the previous year's contest and for every one of you that will take part in this contest, this is easily one of my favorite things of the year that like I look forward to most. Um, I myself go out and make a film every year and I'm making a film again this year as well, which I will post and uh, to kind of, it's the same kind of thing where I have to follow the rules you guys have to follow. And it's always just really fun and exciting for me to go out and challenge myself to go make a film amidst everything I'm always doing, right? It's like, no, go out, go make a film host this contest. I love watching your guys' films. I love seeing the stories um, and how these films and this competition has like changed lives or inspired others or motivated people to actually pursue making a film and being a filmmaker and pursuing something that they love to do and have a lot of fun doing it. So that is this year's contest rules and details. I appreciate y'all for watching. I, I can't tell you again how excited this contest gets me every year. I love sitting down and watching your films. There's been some years where I've had to sit down and watch over 300 films and I don't regret it. It's always so much fun. And I just urge you if you're watching this and you're on the fence and you're not sure if you should go make a film or not, go make that film. Go put your ideas to life. There's, I, I never have as much fun as I do when I go and make these short films with my friends. And sometimes some really amazing opportunities and things have come from making those films. So anyways, that wraps all of this up. I look forward to seeing your films and hopefully some of you guys can scare me. I don't know, it's kind of tough to do, so we'll see.